Alright guys, so, if it's not already obvious, this is the same character, but it's a completely different look and build. That is because I created uh, another build. I'm gonna go over it really fast, so that you guys can see what I have going on, otherwise people are gonna ask me about it. Uh, I have a one-piece slime craw, because, to my understanding, it is the highest critical chance that you can get on a one-piece monster set, right? So, if I'm doing a One Piece, that's obvious that I'm running a Mythic. So, the Mythic, obviously, in this case... Well, maybe not obviously, but... Uh, in this case, is the Ring of the Pale Order, so that I can stay tanky and... Uh, keep my heals up and my health up in general. Uh, in terms of fi uh, Five Piece, you know, mon uh, gear sets, I'm running Briarheart. Because it gives me a little bit of more heals and stuff. And a little bit more survivability and, of course, the critical chance... And critical damage from this so it makes it a pretty good set I will potentially replace this though uh, well I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna replace this I'm not sure to what yet but there that's the five piece of course I am running deadly uh, shoulders which means that I'm running the jewelry and the weapons in deadly as well uh, which cre uh, increases the damage to the channeled abilities and that is because my main spammable is Biting jabs. This is a Stamplar after all, but I'm not gonna go over everything and by the way, this is a channeled ability This is considered a channeled ability. So uh, It buffs this right, but I'm gonna go uh, hover through everything so you guys can see exactly what I'm running The reason why I decided to do this is so that this build can go through public dungeons easily right and uh I did mess up on one. I did mess up on one, though. <clears throat> in uh, Banker Eye, I believe it was. And uh, completely messed up the file. So I'm going to have to find a way to record that one. Uh, possibly on another tune. So that's unfortunate on my end, but it's okay. It happens. So let's talk to Curator Nicholas. Hello, Curator Nicholas. Welcome to the Harvest Festival. Thank is this you. Your first visit to Badman's Hollows? Uh, it is, as a matter of fact, at least me. Uh, Badman's Hollows? The Badman is one of the old gods, the source of all strife and the god of crop failure. According to local tradition, appeasing him will ensure a good harvest. Superstitious nonsense, but an excellent excuse for a festival. Yeah, I suppose so. Uh, how do you how do you appease the Badman? First, we gather baskets of fresh apples and bags of hearty grain. Then we burn them on the sacrificial altar in his honor. After that comes the feast. Help us gather the offering and I'll see that you get a seat of honor. Okay, sounds like a fair trade to me. May our humble offerings bring Sheor's mercy upon us. Then we feast. I think the terminology there is first we feast, but okay. Uh, do you really believe this offering will bring a good harvest? Like I said before, it's probably just superstition. But as my great uncle Nicodemus used to say, it couldn't hurt. Do you always let strangers participate in the festival? We're a friendly folk here in the hollows. We share our traditions with all who would respect them. And it's always nice to see a fresh face at the table. Good to know. Okay, so now we gotta prepare this. So it looks like we just got a bunch of looting to do. Let, well, let me know really quick too though, by the way, it took me a while to decide on what I wanted to look like, and this is what I ended up with. <clears throat> when I think of stamina, I think green, so that's the purpose for the green, an imperial look since I am an imperial. I don't know, I think it looks great, but let me know down in the comment section what you guys personally think of this appearance. I like it. Oh, that's all the grains. Now, all we have left is apples. Well, that was an accident. If you were to replace Briarheart, what would you replace it with? Let me know down in the comment section for a Stamplar. Legitimately curious. I do plan on keeping Deadly, though, so... Keep that in mind. So watch the ceremony. Oh, he's right here. Sisters, the newcomer has made an offering to the bad man. Join with me in celebration. So that's all he's doing, he's just burning it? Man, stern hand of the harvest, master of blight and plenty. 
Accept this gift. Feed and grow stronger. May his hunger never be sated. May his roots grow ever deeper. I'm not sure what's going on, but okay. Talk to me, Nicholas. As a final step, you must scatter dirt on the fire. Why dirt? According to the legend, just as our crops feed on the soil of the hollows, so too will the bad man feed. Also, it's a tradition. Humor us. Oh, okay. Interesting. I'm kinda confused by this quest, actually. I, I what do I have to do it again? What? Uh, what happened? Oh, it's a trap! You're not one of them. Please, you must help me. Wait, hold on. Time out. What's going on? Where am I? Uh, help me get free of these roots. Then I'll explain everything. Okay, what do I do? The dead shock over there. I killed it before these roots grabbed me. Cut out its fire gland, then use it to burn away these roots. Hurry. Okay, one second. Uh, you don't see nothing. Burn. Oh, that sounds scary. Lucky you came along when you did. We've got a lot of work to do. Uh, I was at the Harvest Festival. How did I get here? That was no Harvest Festival. Those people are Daedra worshippers. Yeah. And we're in terrible danger. We need to get out of these tunnels. I figured it was a trap of some sort. Is there a way out of here? We're directly beneath the tree. Except it's not a tree. It's a minor Daedric Lord. The tree's roots are the key. He channels dark energy through them to keep this pocket of oblivion from collapsing upon itself. Destroying the roots will hurt him. How can I destroy the roots? The same way you freed me. Use Shocklands to burn the roots in these caverns. That should weaken him. I'll work on planning our escape. Once you've burned the roots, come and find me. Will do. I have a few more questions, though. Yes, I'm sure you do. Uh, who are you? Evelyn. I was part of a circle of mages testing the boundaries of Conjuration. I'd say we were wildly successful. Mortal terror notwithstanding. What did you summon? A minor Daedric Lord. On this plane, it manifests itself as a giant tree at the center of the Hallows. Is that... Uh, is this all the work of the bad man? No, this wasn't the work of any Breton god. The being we're dealing with is a Dramora lord. It adopted the guise of the bad man to lure the gullible into its trap. Makes sense. Why exactly did you summon this thing? The search for divine knowledge, natural curiosity, lots of reasons. Look, if we knew it would corrupt our circle, impersonate an old harvest god, and drain the souls of the living, we certainly would have reconsidered. Okay, so then where are we? Deep beneath the roots of the tree. Interesting explanation. Uh, but how is all this inside a cave in Daggerfall Harbor? We're not in Glenumbra anymore. The hallows and these tunnels exist on another plane, a pocket realm. The more the tree grows, the larger this realm becomes. If left unchecked, it could destroy half of Glenumbra. Um... How did I get here anyways? I can only <clears throat> assume you were sacrificed. I don't know why you weren't immediately consumed. The souls of the living are like mead and bread to this thing. Uh... I mean, I'm pretty sure I already asked this, but let me just go around. I was part of a circle of mages. Yeah, so. Boundaries of conjuration. What happened to the rest of your circle? Many were killed. Their undead corpses still roam these tunnels. The rest were corrupted by the being we conjured. They're mindless followers now, doing its bidding. They created the Harvest Festival to trap and sacrifice unwary travelers. Makes sense. Goodbye. So let's go. Let's go do that. So the quest is burn nearby uh, newly grown roots. Let's take a look at the map to see what we have in store here. We have one, two, three, four, five bosses it looks like. So if we go in this direction, these two we're going to have to backtrack a little to get one or the other. But we're going to have to go, we'll fight this one, this one, 
Then we'll probably go to this one, backtrack, go around, hit this guy, go around that one, and then get the Sky Shard. And then, of course, wherever else the um, quest takes us. Ooh. Bastion's gonna love me for that one. My inventory is full. It's okay, though. I don't need that ring. So it looks like we have to wait a little. What we're gonna do is cut it. Because I do want to fight all the bosses. And if we, there is some wait time, I'm just gonna not make you guys wait. See you guys in a second. Okay. That took a long time. Come over here. This guy's... It's kind of funny though. We do all that waiting for two seconds of fighting. Okay, so where where's the next hit spot? So it's straight over there. Ooh, a man. Let's go talk to the man real quick. So that's one. You there. You don't look like an abomination against the divines. Well, I'm not. Thank you for noticing. Fascinating. The roots do not consume you. Well, that may prove useful. And you are? The name is Finbir. I was part of the circle of mages that summoned the Dramora Lord now posing as the bad man. I can help keep his power in check, but I'll need your help. What do you need? The Dramora killed many of my circle. Their undead bones wander these tunnels, clutching the gems we used in the ceremony. Bring me some of them. If the Dramora is banished, I can use them to prevent him from ever returning to this realm. Okay, yeah, no, for sure. Consider it done. Alright, so first the oh my god, okay. So let's um let's focus on one at a time. Okay, we'll do uh oh. I don't even know where I'm going, so I guess we'll I guess we'll just see where it takes us. Dead conjurer. How many do we need of these guys? Three. So this is oh this is the boss. And he's available. This guy's a tiny little guy. Look at him. Come here. Where are you where do you think you're going? Well that's nice. We don't have to wait for the second boss. But we do still have to find out where all these things are. Well, he exploded immediately. Give my stamina back. Oh, hello. Oh, that's Abilene. So we got another dead conjurer here. So this is the one that requires three. Okay. So we need one more of those bad boys. I have found him. Uh, return to Finvir. Might as well activate this quest, right? Since that one's already complete for now. And here goes another... Hey, there's one around to the left. Get away from me. Okay, so that's three of four. Um... I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't know which one of these two I I completed. So I have to go back. It's gonna bother me. Hey, got the last one. So that's four. So the bo actually this should be the boss. Okay. So we're golden. It's not that we skipped the boss, it's just that he was already dead. So we did fight this guy, this guy, and this guy then. Because this guy was the little beetle, right? I'm so confused at this moment. We're going to we're gonna come back and talk to her uh, in a little bit. What I'm going to do, because he does appear to be at the bottom. So we're going to go around, fight this boss, get this sky shard, go turn this one in, and then come back and do this one. 
Bastion! You have a twin! Uh-oh. When, the, when the body disappears, that usually means one thing. It's about to respawn. And I was correct. This guy was cake. Okay, so I'm going in this direction, right? Yes, and then I'm going to make a hard left. No, I'm not. Because it is... Oh. So I guess I'm jumping down. Gotta be careful I don't go all the way over there. Haha, -ha, we got the sky shard. Okay, so then let's go get this boss. Ah, and he's available. Oh god. I'm gonna focus on the boss. Bastion, I trust your judgment. Cake. And it got the band of water. I've already gotten that a cheap uh that uh mythic, I think. Cause I'm pretty sure that's for a mythic. Cause I remember coming here and grinding that boss for quite a few hours. Oh god, I fell. I wonder if that's the right way. How the hell do I get to that guy? Bastion, take care of him, please. Okay, so I think I'm here. I am. Okay, perfect. Oh, I'm getting attacked! Am I still getting attacked? No, I'm not. Hi, Finvir. Well, is it done? Uh, here are the ceremony ge uh, ceremonial gems you wanted. Well done. Once banished, the Dramora will never be able to return to Nern. Thank you for your assistance. I hope this ritual will somehow make amends for my part in this whole sordid affair. I wish you the best, my guy. Let me make sure I got the right quest on. I'll be sure the ritual goes properly next time. Um. Yes, so it's this one. Okay, too easy. Get out of my way. I got somewhere I gotta be. Oh, this is Blood Croc again. I don't know why I'm fighting, homeboy. What a I got another lead? My god, dude, I'm I'm a lead magnet today. Okay, Evelyn. Well, you got his attention. I can feel his energy is shifting. He's angry. I hope so. I've been burning his roots all day. You've definitely got his attention. Now we need to take the fight to him. I'm down. Here are the shock lands I collected. We need to find a way to feed them to the Dromora directly. Sounds weird, but okay. A uh, curator, cur, cur. Oh my god, I cannot talk. Curator Nicholas uh, said that the items we burned on the altar were fed to the bad man. Nicholas lived? Traitorous, lying bastard. He was part of our circle. If he's alive, he made a deal with the Dramora. Maybe. You may be right. The altar may be the answer. We must get you back to the Glen. Okay. Haha. -ha. He's gonna be in shock to see us. This way? <gasps> Look at all these bodies. We were wrong. He is angry. <laughs> That's not. That wasn't him, was it? Oh, talk to curator Nicholas. Okay, so Nicholas is still alive, apparently. God, dude, they this they got destroyed. So much death. Yeah, it's all your fault, apparently. What happened here? You live? Mm hmm. Of course. His anger came after you were consumed in flame. Anger? Soon after you were sacrificed, the bad man became enraged. He he turned on us, rained death upon the grove. It was consumed in fire. And now you return. What did you do? I burned the roots below using the shock lance. Of course. That 
may be the only way to defeat him. Quickly now, burn the shock clans at his altar. He'll be forced to consume them, and they'll burn him from the inside out. You must hurry. It's our only chance. Yeah, you're still gonna pay for what you did, by the way. Hey, look, it's a heavy sack. Find anything? Yeah, some raw jute. Offerings altar. Hey. Attack! Oh my god, I lagged hardcore. Dunzo. Is that it? Talk to Eveline? Well, that dangerous Dunzo. I felt it. A shift in the planes. Is it done? The bad man is no more. We should leave this place. With the Daedra banished, the Glen will collapse in upon itself. Thank you for all you've done. Um, I hope you'll have the good taste to not mention that I was involved in all this. Will do. Goodbye. Honestly, she should pay for it too, though.